My name is Redwam Shari. I'm a professor in behavioral ecology at the University of Neuchâtel. So I was following a grouper and all of a sudden it turned uh, towards the reef and I saw the head of a moray eel sticking out of a crevice and I thought actually they would uh, start fighting now who is the dominant predator in the reef. But to my big surprise the moray eel actually left its crevice and uh, they swam off together side by side and after five meters or so the moray eel started moving through crevices while the grouper was clearly waiting outside and so it was uh, very obvious that they hunt together. So groupers have two ways of signaling. The standard way is that the moray eel is in a crevice and the grouper approaches and then it shakes its head in rapid succession and this is the signal come on let's hunt. The moray eel sneaks through crevices and so the best way for the prey to escape a moray eel is to swim into the blue but in the blue that's where the grouper is and so by coordinating the action they make sure that it's not safe for the prey neither inside nor outside and that's how they both increase their hunting success. The other signal is even more exciting and this is when the grouper typically hunts on its own and the prey escapes into a crevice and then the grouper does the equivalent of a human pointing gesture that makes a headstand and points towards the place where the prey is hiding and this then attracts uh, the partner Amori eel and hopefully for the grouper flush the prey out again. We got very excited about the the field results and we decided to take the system from the field to the lab and conduct uh, controlled experiments. We constructed uh, an artificial reef and we also laminated <coughs> the picture of a mori and attached it to strings and the right thing to do was that if the prey was above the coral the groupers had to strike immediately and if the prey was hiding below the coral, then the right thing to do was to go directly towards the moray eel and uh, as a reward the grouper would be thrown a piece of food. In the second part of the experiment we had two moray eel models and the challenge in this experiment was for the groupers to identify that there's one competent and one incompetent moray eel partner and therefore develop a preference for the competent partner. And the speed of learning and also the precision of their choices equals uh, data published on chimpanzees in a similar experiment. The results clearly show that fish are able to perform rather complex behaviors, that they have a, an amazing repertoire to solve their daily problems and hence that they are certainly much smarter than you might have thought.